and welcome to this Design Cuts video tutorial. Today we're going to look at installing brushes in Procreate. Now the brushes that I'm going to be using for this example are the Chalk Dust Brush Kit for Procreate by Ian Barnard. And we're going to install a couple of those brushes in different ways just so you can see what your options are. Now I've already done the download so let's just switch across to my account because as soon as you've purchased a set of brushes they're going to be available in your account and you're going to have a link that looks something like this and you're just going to tap to download all files. Now I've done it because it's a fairly large file so once it's been downloaded it's going to appear in a sort of pop-up at the bottom of your screen so we're just going to tap open in. Now if you don't have an unzip application you're going to need one and I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes exactly what to do to find one but I've already got one installed so I'm going to tap here on copy to unzip. And the file is then copied to unzip to my unzip application. You can always just switch to your unzip application if it doesn't open up automatically. And here it is. This is a zip file. So I'm going to tap on it and that unzips it in this particular application. So now I can go to the folder. So let's just tap on that to open it. And I'm going to tap through to the brushes folder and here are all the brushes that I can install. These are the brushes that are in this pack. Now I'm going to select one of these brushes, this dry brush here. So I'm going to tap on the eye icon and I'm going to ask to open it in and I'm going to open it in Procreate. And this opens up Procreate automatically. Of course, if it doesn't, you would just switch to Procreate. And let's go to the brushes application and you'll see in the imported brushes here is this dry brush. So brushes are automatically installed in the imported folder if that's the way that you install them. But there is another option as well. So I'm going to tap here on the plus at the top of the brush library and I'm going to call this Design Cuts. So I'm labeling these my Design Cuts brushes. Now with the Design Cuts brushes selected here, I can click on the plus symbol and I'm going to import a brush. So I'm going to tap import and then I'm going to my files and this is the files on my iPad. So I'm going to my unzip files and then I'm going to the unzipped chalk dust files and let's just navigate through here. And here I can see the brushes quite visually so I can decide which one I'm going to install. And I could of course install multiples. So I'm going to install just the stipple shader so I'm going to tap on that. And it's now imported into my Design Cuts folder. So here is the stipple shader and if I installed multiple brushes into the Design Cuts folder they would appear here. So those are the two of the ways that you can install your brushes into Procreate. Just a word of warning. If you're downloading your files to your iPad, it doesn't matter so much for the Design Cuts files because you will always have a copy of those in your Design Cuts account. But if you're downloading and installing other brushes from the internet, you may want to duplicate your file. So you may want to also download it to a desktop or you may want to take it from the Files folder here and upload it to Dropbox or to Google Drive so that you have a copy of it. Now let's go and have a look and see what you're going to do if you don't have an unzip application. So you're going to go to the App Store and you'll search for an unzip file. So let's go and search for unzip. Now there are a lot of unzip applications that you can choose from. The one I'm using is unzip here but there are others and they're all going to work in pretty much the same way. Their purpose is to unzip files so they will take care of the unzip process. You need something on any machine to unzip files and this is how you're going to get an unzip for your iPad. I hope this video has been helpful to you in installing brushes that you download into Procreate. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and tell us so in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley for Design Cuts.